What's up you guys? Welcome back to the track. I'm super excited today because we're talking about one of my favorite things not just to do on hurdle days, but I like to do them every day. It's a big part of my warm up and that is hurdle mobility. I absolutely love this, getting our hips nice and open, but it also teaches us the correct form when we're hurdling. So let's just jump right into it and get into what I do for hurdle mobility. We're gonna start by putting just one shoe in, in between each hurdle. A lot of people will crunch their hurdles all the way up, but I just like to give myself a little bit of room just so that I can make it a lot more flowy. And then we're also gonna put the hurdle all the way down. The first thing I like to start with is just making sure that your body is very straight. Your hips wanna be exactly forward so that you're not doing any weird movements. You're not rotating your hips all crazy. You just wanna be nice and clean. We're gonna start with just walkovers. So basically we're walking over by bringing our foot up and our other foot forward. So you try to keep as clean angles as possible and you just step over. So some people like to step over like this. Do you see how my knee is leading? You wanna make sure that your knee comes up and your toe comes right under your knee when you step forward. When we're doing this also, we wanna make sure that we're doing both feet. So even if let's say like for your elite, your lead leg, right leg, you don't wanna only just focus on your right leg because if only one side of your hips are nice and open, that's just gonna be a big problem. You want your hips to be equal on both sides. So we're gonna do both of these and I want you to stay as clean as you did for your right leg to your left leg. The next thing that I like to do is just nice side overs. All right, so we're staying as close as possible. This one is a little bit less about being sharp and clean. I always like to be sharp and clean anyways, but it's more just about getting those hips nice and open. So this is when a lot of people like to push these forward, but I'm just gonna keep them normal just because I have really long legs, so it works for me. But if you feel like you need to push them all the way together, feel free to do that. You kind of need to work on what's best for your body type. But we're gonna do all the way walkovers, which you're just going, instead of doing one leg at a time, you bring the other leg forward and you walk over like so. So once we have walkovers done, we're gonna walk over two, and then we're gonna tap and walk back one. Walk over two, tap, and walk back one. Now walk over two, tap, and walk over one. And if you notice, it's, it's I, like I said, I always like to keep nice and sharp, but what I really want you to do is focus on opening up those hips and this is really going to allow you to get that hip mobility so for this next drill you're actually going to want to lift up every other hurdle so i'm going to leave this one down and i'm going to lift this one up and i'll show you why we're going to walk over and then dip under so the first thing we're going to do is we walk over we take that exact same foot that lands, we pivot it, and we squat down and come back up. Walk over, keep it on the ground, and squat down, pick it up. I'll do it on the other leg just so that it makes sense. The first time we went over with our left leg first, which means we opened up sideways, now we're going with our right leg first, which means we're gonna be opening up this way. So you keep your foot on the ground and then you take your other foot and you dip under. Foot stays on the ground and you dip under. And this is really making sure, so when we dip under, we're really getting low here. We're opening up that hip so that we can just get all of that flexibility in our hips. The next thing that we're gonna do is really about rhythm and mobility. Now. I want you to start by being a little bit more far away from the hurdle and almost just mimicking like you're going over it, but we're going to be bouncing for it. So we bounce together and we bounce over like this. When you become more comfortable, you can actually get closer to the hurdle so that your foot is actually clearing the hurdle. Do make sure that you're focused on clearing the hurdle every single step because I have had a spill or two 
over the hurdles. So let me show you what I mean. So just come over here so that you're actually clearing the hurdle. It gets your hip mobile, it keeps your rhythm high, and it helps improve your focus as well. This next drill helps with hamstring flexibility and activation. So basically we're doing that same rhythm what we were doing before, but our legs are straight. I do want you to start by being away from the hurdle. To be honest, I like being away from the hurdle anyways, and I've done this tons of times. So if you do wanna go to where you're actually clearing the hurdle, that's completely up to you. I like to be away from it just because I don't really like my Achilles being anywhere near the hurdle. So just be cautious about that. But we're gonna have that same rhythm, but our legs are nice and straight. And as we get more comfortable, I like to do this sometimes two, three times. And as I get more comfortable, I get a little bit more of a strike as I come down on my hamstrings so that I can really focus on activating those hamstrings. Hurdle mobility is a big part of my warm-up, so I really hope you guys try this out. If you have any more questions, feel free to give me a comment below and give it a thumbs up if it's something that you like. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time. What? Give it a thumbs up. Like that?